for the afternoon with Kevin Sugar on the porch. It's been a while since I was here, and I thought I would uh, 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 thank you again for being part of this program and, uh, you know, like us and, and subscribe if you like what we're talking about. Um, I got this letter from Major General, uh, retired Major General Paul Eaton, and it's from votevets.org. Votevets.org. And it says at the very front of this letter, something I'll have you look at. Mm -hmm. It says here Donald Trump dishonored our nation. Trumpism could destroy it. That's just one reason why I'm writing this letter. And again, it's from votevets.org, and it's uh, Major General, our uh, retired Major General Paul Eaton. And I'm Kevin Stoder for the Kevin Stoder Channel. And as I said, I appreciate you following this uh, mailing. Major General retired uh, Paul Eaton, former Operations Iraqi Freedom Commander. Dear Progressive American, on his way back to Mar-a-Lago in disgrace, Donald Trump left with some chilling promises. I will be watching. I will be listening. We will be back. The movement we started, it's just beginning. I don't know how Trump speaks, but anyway, that's what Trump said. So as I rejoice when Joe Biden took office on Inauguration Day, the still broken windows behind him confirmed that our nation remains in, on perilous ground. The threat of renegade armies of Trump acolytes, some seated on that very platform, was impossible to ignore. That is why, as we celebrate a new beginning under J President Joe Biden and a Democratic Congress, we must also set about vanquishing Trumpism before it tears our country apart. The 2022 midterms will signal whether or not we can. So will your answer to this letter. If you believe in truth over lies, honor over corruption, unity over diversion, security over insurrection, and other fundamental notions of what America should be, then I ask you to join the most important mission of our lifetimes. Stand with the vote vets by supporting our unique and powerful capacity to shut down the Trumpist lies, defeat the Republicans who exploit them, and elect progressive Democrats in numbers big enough to secure our country's future. That's our core mission as vote vets. We're the largest force of progressive veterans, serving members and civilian allies in America alike. Through the smart endorsement and investments, blistering viral videos, best in play class vote targeting, and a platoon of persuasive veteran spokespeople, we may be the biggest, most potent secret weapon in the progressives' arsenal. Since 2006, we've built a mighty record of electing strong progressive candidates to Congress and local offices, uh, defending good Democrats from swift board-like attacks, and shutting down the tired myth that all veterans and service members are uh, Republican and conservative. Uh, we were a decisive source of the vigor and the votes that turned Trump out of office, mobilizing the largest turnout effort in history of veteran, military, family, and allied voters. Now our sights are set on 2022 and beyond, when we must expand our House and Senate majorities. Raleigh, the scale of voter mobilization we united to defeat Trump and win both Georgia and runoff to turn out, turn more states and districts blue and defeat the Trumpism scourge before it's too late. Even if you don't know vote vets by name, you know us by impact. We disprove the myth, the myth that all veterans and servicemen vote Republican. We give voice to the millions who reject the systemic destruction of what Republicans once stood for and who embraced the honest and empowering vision of progressive Democrats, as well as to the many who are outraged by the military pretensions of Trumpist insurrectionists and hangers on. In the 2022 midterms, Vote Vets is aiming for bigger success than ever, because that's what it will take to stop Trump extremists from regaining control of the Capitol Hill. In the Senate, we'll back great veterans up for re-election, including uh, Tammy Duckworth in Illinois and Mark Kelly in Arizona. A former astronaut and a Navy Captain Kelly was elected to fill John McCain's seat and will face voters again. 
So will Raphael Warnock of Georgia, also elected to complete a partial term. Republicans will be hell-bent to defeat all of these Democrats and many more. We'll also focus on winnable Republican seats in states like Florida, like Marco Rubio's, Iowa Chuck Grassley, Kentucky Rand Paul, and Wisconsin Ron Johnson. We'll credential, uh, we'll, you know, have credential veterans eyeing these and other promising races. Together we can widen the Democrats' one-seat margin. In the House, Democrats will defeat or defend a way to close 11 seat majority. Many are veterans elected with vote vet support, including a record number of freshmen in 2018. With Republicans sending gun nuts and QAnon conspiracists to undermine our government, veterans offer the most credible alternatives. A big target will be House districts that went for Trump in November. At the polls, we'll scale up what's already the largest veteran and allied voter database in of democratic politics will millions of names will deliver powerful messages about why democrats are the party to count on in 2020 we reached over 250,000 veterans and military families in 16 battleground states including 20,000 in georgia alone your support will strengthen the powerful and winning tool this is just a preview of our program and we'll stop the spineless republicans uh catering to trump um What's your role? Simply put, there's no better way to amplify your personal voice and give strength to our progressive values than by supporting vote vets with a contribution. But also, you can speak out on social media. Uh, vote vets is, don't forget, vote vets is the largest force of progressive veterans, service members, and public allies in America. When you see us in action, I promise you, you'll be glad you enlisted your passion and ideals in our effort. Take this important step now by returning the enclosed enrollment form and becoming a joiner. I'm not a vet, so I'm not sure I can join, but I can support, and I'll pass this on to my brother. In the meantime, guys, uh, his words are true, and they should ring with you. Uh, we can't uh, let the Republicans stay controlling our state houses and our representative seats and our Senate seats in 2022. Uh, I may even think of running for office. What do you think? Anyway, uh, I hope you are enjoying what I've said and shared. And maybe you're a little surprised that there are so many veterans who are progressive. And I hope uh, we see some more veterans and progressives join after seeing this video. Thank you for following me and subscribing to the Kevin Stoder channel. Have a good day. This is Kevin Stoder rocking here in the front porch.